Special Forces Commando Heston Russell. Now we talk on a regular basis about Afghanistan and his uh, his experience there. And of course, he was also in Iraq. He's decided uh, that he is going to establish his own political party. On Friday, as I understand it, he submitted a completed application form to register the Australian Values Party. He's on the line. You got the numbers that you needed to get to to get to that? Hey, good morning, Steve. Yeah, good to chat with you. And we did. It was quite a, a great response within that sort of 10-day period. And we're well up about over the mark and the application's in. That's fantastic. How do you feel about it? Yeah, really good. And particularly, it's been so impressive to see the amount of people coming out who want to put their hands up to be a candidate, who really are just expressing a fact of wanting to get back to a system of process or at least a party that is values-based as opposed to uh, policy-based or constantly looking at different persuasions and opinions. So... It's been very warming for myself, again, looking to, to venture out onto this with a focus for trying to bring back a baseline, a values-based approach and the right people. And there's a, there's a ways of people out there who feel the same. You reckon that working in a, a war zone was tough? I mean, you're now about to enter, you know, a snake pit called politics. Are you prepared for that? Well, this is it. Steve, the only reason why I've really taken this commitment is because my guys and those veterans that serve in Afghanistan have been more attacked back here at home than they have in Afghanistan. And particularly elements like the ABC and a lot of media around this Burton report, mate, has landed over 3,500 Special Forces personnel as guilty without trial. And I've watched uh, my guys and girls go through a living hell over the last uh, 18 months in particular, but two years before that. And the simple fact that uh, we are being persecuted here at home, the simple fact that people are allowed to go about these, including our politicians, without accountability, it means it's time to step up and bring some of those skills and traits and and and, and respects that we earned and that we were taught uh, the hard way in the military and try and bring them back here uh, to best represent what we've been trained to do and hopefully set an example for the current and future generations. If you had to describe the values of the Australian Values Party uh, in one sentence, how would you go about that? What would it be? Well, the easy part is, Steve, is there's actually an Australian value statement that is on the Department of Home Affairs website anyone looking to come into Australia to get citizenship or a visa has to abide by. They are the respect for the freedoms and dignity of the individual. They are the complementing uh, commitment to the rule of law, which includes the presumption of innocence, equality of opportunity for all people, regardless of their gender, sexual orientation, age, disability, race or, or national ethnic or origin, and includes compassion for those in need. Now, Steve, have a look around at the moment and just, you know, I'm not reinventing the wheel here, just no one is holding ourselves, our governments, those making decisions accountable to what we already require those coming in our, into our country to, to practice and agree to. Anyone who's heard you uh, talk to me over the years knows the quality of the person who is Heston Russell. What about the other people that you've managed to recruit to put their hands up? What sort of quality of people are we talking about? Yeah, good question, Steve. And that's the next part of this. And that's the part I'm going to be applying all of my effort to. So, again, we've received an initial response of about 170 people who want to be candidates, but they're going to be put through a process that includes submitting an application, recording questions to uh, answers to a question, going through a paperboard selection panel, and then actually going to travel around as best as possible and put them through a deliberate selection process with, admittedly, a lot of the um, skills and emotional quotient testing I sort of developed from working and reforming our Special Forces selection course, and they're going to be selected on their lived experience in leadership in managing teams, in planning, not on being a spokesperson, not on being on the debating team, not on being a lawyer, but being the right person for the job. So it was when a crisis like COVID hit or the withdrawal from Afghanistan hit, the right people are around the table, regardless of politics or left or right wing persuasion, and can actually work through these things as disciplined leaders and planners, as opposed to politicians looking to progress themselves or their party. The next federal election may be as soon as March. I'm sure it won't be this year, but it could be as soon as March. It could be as late as, I think, July from memory. Uh, it's a big task to get this assembled between now and then. Do you think you're going to be able to pull that off? Yeah, absolutely, Steve. So earliest HR and latest HR and preferred HR are working through those timings at the moment, and it's going to be quality over quantity. The more time we have in this process, the more likely we'll get more candidates up and better trained as a team. However, if the time is short, then again, we just need to focus on the scalability of this. I've got a pretty good team of people around me and more are flocking to uh, this purpose uh, with the same beliefs as, as I and many others have. And we're just going to see how far we can get with it, mate. And um, the, the first step is that the party needs to be registered. The application's in. It takes about 12 weeks. 
And then we just set about going about building the right people from the ground up. And the best part about this is that opportunity to do it right from the start. Squeaky clean, bringing some respect, some integrity, some trust back into this process. Because if we don't establish that baseline to start, then we're just as bad as many of the other big parties in there at the moment. Getting your uh, name out there is an expensive exercise unless you're a Clive Palmer who seems to just have a bottomless pit of money that he can use to advertise around the country. Uh, you're going to need some help, obviously. The, there'll be a, a, an option for people to make a political donation, which is uh, they're able to do, but you're also asking for people to help you out with things like pro bono legal and, and some video and advertising support, some creative people. Yeah, absolutely, Steve, I think. You know, we don't have deep pockets. What we do have is, is, is a deep desire and an authentic purpose. And uh, you're right, you know, the Clyde Palmers and like that, I think, spent $60 million on the last election and didn't walk away with any seat. So um, there's an indication there that people want quality over quantity. It's going to cost money. Um, we definitely need more services in around us. And once we're registered as a party, we can open it up for donations. But again, it's just concentration of effort, one of the principles of war, Steve. You know, we're looking to develop our own content as opposed to solely rely on media content. We're just going to be looking to get out there and actually engaging with people as opposed to doing what we're seeing at the moment and looking to lead or persuade people solely by media. It comes out to getting on the ground and engaging with people, and that's sort of my specialty, and that's where we're going to be building that team to do exactly that. How can people get in touch with you if they'd like to? Hey, at the moment, Steve, it's still via my website, Heston Russell, 2 ss 2 lscom and at the moment we're building the new site, but if you get in contact with me at hestonrussell.com, uh, we'll put you on the mailing list and we'll keep you updated with the Australian Values Party as we look to launch our own website in the coming weeks. Anytime you need to get the voice out there, let me know. All, all good. Thank you, Steve. Really appreciate this. Have a good day, mate. Heston Russell. You can get in touch with Heston. Heston, H-E-S-T-O-N-R-U-S-S-E-L-L.com. HestonRussell.com. Australia to...